To make a truly compelling image, sometimes you'll need to remove things from your frame. And you can't always do that in camera. But within Luminar 4, there are some really great tools to help you remove unwanted objects from your photos. And in this video, we'll take a look at them. The tools for removing and replacing unwanted objects in your photos are the Erase tool and the Clone and Stamp tool. But let's start with the most simple tool at your disposal, and that's the Crop tool. Okay, so we want to look at how to remove unwanted objects. Now, here's a photograph of my son and my wife as they're heading off to a, his triathlon. Now, by no means am I suggesting that my wife is an unwanted object, but in this photograph, we're going to crop her out and just make it more about my son. So. We just want to come to the crop and rotate tool. We can just grab a corner handle and drag that in. And the great thing is our aspect ratio of three to two, the original, stays consistent. We can now click and drag this where we want it to be. So we could put my son right on that rule of thirds there. That's what this grid is. It splits it up into thirds. So you can put points of interest right on those third lines. And we can click done. And just like that, we've removed something from the photograph that we didn't want to be there in a really simple way. Now let's have a look at the two tools that are dedicated to removing unwanted items from your photos. First things first, let's get this photograph to a place we want it to be. Let's use AI Enhance and just drag that up. And let's also increase the contrast a little bit. Because the sun is hitting the lens here, we've washed out all our blacks. So let's just come into this advanced section and just bring the blacks down ever so slightly, just so we get a much better contrast in this photograph. Now let's go and take a look at these tools for cleaning up the photo. Come over to the Canvas tab, and from there, let's go to the Clone and Stamp or the Arrays. And from there, let's go to Arrays. Luminar prepares your image. So looking at this photograph, I can see some areas straight away which I'd like to clean up. There's a couple of dust spots floating in the sky that have been picked up by the backlight of the sun. There's this hair curling around here. Um, there's quite a few stray hairs, but I'll just show you a couple just to demonstrate the tool. The next problem area is my son here. He's bending over, picking up some rocks. I really didn't want to lose the moment of capturing my daughter being a bit sassy, dancing away. So I left him as is, but now in post-production, I really would like to get rid of that distraction, particularly because it's a bright red jacket that he's wearing there. So we're gonna use the clone stamp to address that. But first things first, let's come to the erase tool. And from here, we're able to just paint over the areas we don't want with the brush. So there, if I paint over that hair, maybe this part of the jacket, and these little dust particles floating in the air there as well. Now, how far you want to take this is entirely up to you. So you could address all of these hairs here, the one on her face, but just for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna click done, and it's done a great job. Those hairs are gone. From here, let's look at using the clone stamp and see if we can stamp out this area here. So the clone stamp is basically cloning or copying an area and pasting it somewhere else. So here you can see we have to click to set the source. So basically we're gonna tell Luminar that we want to copy this area of out of focus leaves beautifully bouquet in the background and we're gonna paste that or paint it over my son here. And when we're done, I don't think anyone will question the validity of the finished image. So let's click here as a starting point and we can come over here and start painting. We can use our bracket keys to increase or decrease the size of the brush. Let's have a nice big brush for a starting point and let's start to paint in some of this. If you want to change your sample point, uh, you can just re-click the source, but I'm happy with this at the moment and let's just see how we get on painting this. And that's looking pretty good. So let's just click done there and Luminar will apply that cloning to the layer. There we go. Let's zoom out ever so slightly and let's look at our before and after. Before, after. That's our before and that's our after. And as I say, nobody, if they didn't see the original, is gonna question the validity of that finished photo. In a perfect world, you capture your frame and your photo exactly as you want it. But unfortunately, things don't always pan out like that at the time of capture. 
So these tools, as you can see, are a really powerful way to finesse your photography and get the end result that you're happy with. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.